The Olympic world was stunned today after U.S. gymnast Simone Biles dropped out of the team competition. Saying she wasn't in the right frame of mind and risked getting hurt competing that way. Been really stressful this Olympic Games. I think just as a whole, um, not having an audience, there are a lot of different variables going into it. It's been a long week. It's been a long Olympic process. It's been a long year. The U.S. gymnastic team went on to win the silver medal. Biles didn't rule out competing in her individual competitions, and that starts Thursday. Top athletes have been highlighting mental health in recent months, and we're joined now by sports psychologist Dr. Michelle Karoulis from Northwestern. Thank you so much for joining us, doctor. Hello. Now, we know that Simone Biles is the most decorated gymnast in the world. For her to pull out like this, it's so surprising, but it seems to be a trend. We had Naomi Osaka pulling out of the French Open. I think one of the skateboarders, he didn't pull out, but he said that it's so mentally tough to do something like this. How hard it is it for these athletes to compete? Well, Micah, as a counselor specialized in working with athletes, I've noticed the same trend where we expect public excellence all the time without exception from these athletes, but they do experience quite a bit of private anguish. And the trend has been fortunately moving in the direction of asking for mental health assistance because it is an enormous amount of pressure for young people to have to carry this weight on their shoulders. Yeah, she's 24 years old. And a lot of them, as you said, the, this trend is that they're putting mental health before, you know, fans and spectators and things like that. Is that the right thing to do, especially since so much money has been put behind these athletes? That's a great question. And I think the right thing to do really depends on individual circumstances where some athletes will want to push through and keep going. Other athletes are going to say, this is my time to stop and take a break. And the unfortunate thing is that it is one thing to push through a competition or practice for the purposes of improvement. Mm -hmm. It's completely different to ignore the need to take a break for a mental health day, for a physical injury, or to address some really serious mental health concerns that people face. I heard a former gymnast today said that there is no mental health support at the Olympics and you say that's not true. That's not accurate. Luckily, the U.S. Olympic Committee has a team of phenomenal mental health clinicians who are trained specifically to work with athletes. Now, I think it's possible that some athletes don't feel comfortable reaching out for mm -hmm. mental health assistance for a variety of reasons. And one of them most likely includes the stigma that we as a society place on people. Um, that's unfortunate because we know one in five adults, nearly 50 percent of adolescents and one in six children eight years old and younger have concerns about mental health in their lives. So we need to encourage people to reach out more. And we know that Simone Biles was dealing with a lot of stuff besides her excellency, but she also um, has testified and talked about the abuse from Dr. Larry Nasser, uh, who was helping her at the time during her younger years. Well, she's 24, but even younger than that. So that has to weigh on her too. I imagine that any person who goes through that kind of psychological and sexual trauma, especially in a place where you're supposed to be taken care of and trusting somebody, has a lot of emotional turmoil. And to be representing that organization, I imagine, is extremely difficult for her. Do you see this changing the game of sports moving forward? I hope so. Behind the scenes, as clinicians, we've been working for decades trying to support our athlete population. There are organizations, including um, Safe for Athletes and Safe Sport, to help athletes come forward when they feel like there is a dangerous situation so that trusted people outside of their organization can help. But I, I do want to emphasize that um, the Olympic Committee definitely has amazing uh, people out there to assist. I think that this will change the face of athletics in terms of the athletes understanding that it's okay for them to put themselves first. Now, I think an important part of this too is what kind of contracts athletes have and talking to their managers, talking to their agents, talking to organizations about what's important for them in terms of mental health days and rest. Definitely. Dr. Michelle Karoulis from Northwestern, thank you so much. Be safe. Be well. Thank you. Be safe. Take care.